Welcome to this video. I'm playing Krutov. Krutov is the name without any uh, name in there. He's played a3 against the Sicilian. Yes, this is in fact a line. There's even a book published about it. I think there are even two books published about this, which I find pretty remarkable because well, a3 really. Um, okay, he's playing the Grand Prix attack. But without the bishop move, this is actually um, quite interesting. As it, uh, there is the same thing with colors reversed. And what is the move there? Hmm, a3, yeah, well, a3 is not really helping him, but it's also not damaging much. After e6, he will probably play d4. If he has some idea with it. Or, well, with colors, colors reverse, there is d5. I can show you this uh, later. Okay, he's uh, playing b4. Wow. Yeah, cool. Yeah, there, is, there are things that uh, you have absolutely never seen after 25 years of chess. <laughs> like this. Not sure what it is. Is it good? Is it bad? It's interesting, that's clear. I mean, d6, I'm, I'm, yeah, I guess he got, he's got e5 now. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, there is some point to it. I wonder if I should play, I think I should do that, play f6. I must, I must break up this bishop, otherwise, if he gets enough time, like knight e4, bishop b2, and so on, he will dominate on the dark square, so I'm trying to open up the position. His setup has one disadvantage, it's slow. a3, b4, many pawn moves. If he takes, knight takes, I'm actually threatening knight d5 or knight e4. I know, e6 is weak, but it's uh, it's dynamics here. Okay, what the heck. Hmm. Knight e7 or... Is this a bit too, hmm, a bit too lame? If I take on e5, I would like to take on e5, but hmm, yeah, this is a good move actually. Or bishop d7. Okay, let's do let's do this. Intending knight to d4. Or uh, maybe he's got knight e4 now. Hmm, this could be annoying. Hmm, knight e4 intending knight d6. Yeah, there's very, it's very rare that you, um, that a knight on d6 is not a problem. And here it, it would have been a problem. Yeah, wow. How to develop this? Oh wait, he has castled. I can play f5, yeah? Yeah, and I'll do that. I know, I know, it, it's not exactly consistent with f6, opening up the long diagonal and so on, but it controls e4, and I think this overrules other, all disadvantages. Or let's say, um, yeah, it, uh, I don't mind that this is a bit inconsistent, but knight e4 is prevented now, once and for all. And okay, the g7 bishop is looking at the e5 pawn, not great, but white's bishop on c1 also will never have a really good a good life in this game. I hope it's always looking at the f4 pawn, or it can um, yeah try a4 or whatever. This is not really a problem. Rook b7. Hmm. It's maybe intending again knight b5. Okay, let's let's just let's just keep it simple. Yes, I thought knight d4 would cover it. Knight g5. Attacked e6. Oh wow.
Hmm. Really? <laughs> really, really, really. Hmm. Okay, take that. Check. Knight takes. I think only six here. Yeah? Hmm. Isn't the knight trapped? Queen d7. Pooh. Knight g7 check. King f8. Right, it's not trapped because of bishop b2 at the end. Wow. Okay. But I can go to d5 actually. c7 is covered. e6 check. Okay, I'm, I must play. I'm on one minute something. But I can take it. I can take the knight. This is stupid. I can just take on b5. I mean, knight takes, king f7, Check. yeah, and then take on b5. That's a um, simple and uh, good solution. Or maybe there is something better. I'm not, uh, not sure about it, but oh, knight f5, <laughs> some desperado move, maybe. Okay. Yeah, e6 yeah, will open up the long diagonal, but not sure how terrible it really is. Try knight d4 to e6 if possible. Hmm, yeah. Not sure. The queen trade is not so terrible for me. I have, the knight has some potential on e6. I know I'm a pawn down, but um, I think it could have been worse. I mean, I'm not enthusiastic about this position, but <laughs> I think I was worse even. c4, no, there's rook c3, but then there's knight c3. Time warning. Oh, come on. I'm, let's... Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, this didn't really help. It did not help. This this only improved White's position. Yeah, really a bad game that I'm playing here. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, check. No, he's he's really struggling. Check. I really want to trade rooks. This would ease my job considerably. with the rook. This bishop is almost trapped. Rook a2 will trap it next move. Yeah, very lucky game. White resigns. He really fell apart with uh, time getting low. This was uh, probably lost at more than one point. Yeah, that's a crazy opening with b4. I mean, not not at all sure what this is. It's maybe not so bad. I mean, I cannot, well, just for starters, I cannot take here. I mean, this is just after bishop a3, really, really strong compensation. 
I mean, something like that is probably um, completely terrible. So um, I, I must, I must essentially, yeah. Well, maybe. Hmm, that's an interesting suggestion. The computer gives this move. But there's e5. Not clear that this is so great. Yeah, I have d6, I have b6. Yeah, this is what I played, but hmm. This looks, I don't know, it looks dangerous. And here, I don't, I don't really know. Well, maybe I panicked here with this bishop d7 move. I mean, or panicked is wrong. I mean, just errored. Bishop d7 seems bad. Maybe still knight e7, but it, it didn't feel right to me. The problem, however, with bishop d7 is just this move, and I'm and I'm toast. I think. Yeah, 1.5 by the comp. Mm, not looking good. Something like this. Well, white is very well developed. Good pieces. This idea, no. Yeah, and this, I don't know. Computer hates it, but I don't uh, think it is so bad actually. It's a bit, I don't know, passive or something, but yeah, this is really a problem. But um, what is my defense? That this is the defense that the computer suggests. And then castles. Yeah, this this looks pretty okay. Check. Yeah. Yeah, this is simply Check. simply not working. Knight f5 is a possibility, this desperado. My knight has no square, so I need to go here. And then I can play this position two pawns down. It's just a disaster. And here I'm still living for in, in a way, but well, not nice. And this helped me a bit, the queen trade, because I have some, some chances, let's say knight over here, blocka blockading on the light squares. And um, it's, um, yeah, this is just nonsense. It opens up the situation for white. It, um, not help does not help me at all. The only uh, issue was that he started to blunder stuff now. Check like this. And uh, probably he's just um, just getting too too nervous with the uh, time ticking down. Yeah, that's a really funny, really funny opening line. I mean, okay, well, 2a3, I cannot really believe in it, but um, another possible move order to the game position could could have been that, and then a3. The question really is what to do here. I mean, e6, there was b4. d6, yeah, well, probably, probably d6. Well... I was thinking maybe that bishop b5 then is uh, an option. I cannot answer with knight d4, obviously, due to rules. <laughs> okay, an interesting game. Thanks for watching.